Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at VirtualBox when we need to deliver for support some debugging information or log files. So we are going to look at how we can do that. When we launch a virtual machine, uh, every time that it starts up, it's creating a so-called release log file, which contains a lot of information about the VM configuration and runtime environment. We are going now to see where to locate those log files. The log file is located here in what we call the home, virtual box VMs, and then the machine name slash logs. So we can see here in my case here, it's in users on C under my name, Chris. By the way, I'm Christian from Vision 6D. And there you will see different log files. Every time that the machine is starting, it's creating a log file and it's rotating the previous one to dot one, for example. The one that was even before was with dot two and so on. It's those files that you will need to transfer and transmit to the support to get any help. So we are going now to look closer at the content of those files. So you can open them here or you can directly go on the virtual machine and you see here in the middle either through control L or show log, you will see the last log of the machine. As you can see, there is a lot of different information. We can here see, for example, the host type and the version. So you see in my case is a Windows 10, no service pack have been installed. Here up, you can see the version of VirtualBox, it's 5.0.8 in this case, and the architecture is a 64-bit AMD 64-bit. We can see here, for example, the guest OS type, in my case, is a Debian 64-bit. And we have here below uh, two locations which are defined where we can uh, find the VDI image of uh, that virtual machine. And eventually, if we have snapshots, they are located there also. Further information here below is about devices that were found on the PC and that the virtual machine had connection to or could connect to. By going a bit lower under the end of CFGM dam, we see now the definition of the CPU and some features of the CPU. You can recognize here in the middle uh, the CPU I'm currently using. By going a bit further down, we will arrive here to some points where we see here changing the VM state from creating to created. So these are the states and there are several states available which e with each VM. So this is also something that can be really useful. Machine states are important. In my case here, you see I used find to find the suspended state. And here I could see that my machine was from suspending to suspended. At that point, I noticed that my machine wasn't going anywhere, so I just stopped it. And at that point, you see that it's going to move to post, and then it's going to move to stopping. And at the end, you see here down that the change of state was suspended to powering off. So this is one way to follow what's happening with your machine. And if your machine is often in the state of suspended, it's really that something is happening and that is wrong. So the way to find what is wrong is you could look up for the, the keyword error. So we are going to, to do that. And we find here some errors. So these are uh, normal messages from uh, the definition here of C error. So it's not really this that I'm interested in. So we are going to pass to the next, next. And now what do we find? And here we find another kind of error you see here. So I will show the complete message which is here. And, and you see that here in that case, uh, there is something that is really not working. So this is the kind of approach you can have to isolate uh, an error. Oh, in my case here, the error uh, is linked to OneDrive from Microsoft and the Windows 10. 
So this is one point that I need to further analyze and better understand in order maybe to correct my situation. So with that, I showed you some ways in which you can uh, help the support to determine what's the cause of your issues. So now you can copy and paste this in a mail, attach the file and transfer it to the support. So this is the kind of debugging information that support is going to help you or people from the community when they will be available to, to help you. So with that, I showed you the way to get the debugging information. I hope that it will be helpful and I wish you a good day and hope to see you soon. Bye! Thank you.